All right, boys and girls, Yodi Slay here bringing you a Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. And today I have a very special guest. This isn't me doing the rapage this time. This is uh, one of the female gamers of the girls that game. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? What's up, guys? ASDs. And as you can see, um, it's not your typical Call of Duty Black Ops. It's, uh, you know, a lot of these guys out here, they may be offended by the fact that they just got ran over by a lady. But, you know, this is one of the best out there, in my opinion. And I figured I'd offer her a dual comm to get her name out there to expose her. And uh, I got a couple questions to ask her and uh, stuff like that. So, AOSTs, what, uh, you know, what got you into playing Call of Duty? Um, I actually purchased the PS3 about, I want to say, seven months ago, and I knew nothing about it. And one of my friends that I added on PSN, I wanted to play some Grand Theft Auto, and he was like, no, I don't want to play that. He was like, play Call of Duty 4. And I'm like, well, I don't know what that is. And um, he told me about it. And the next day, I went and traded in um, Grand Theft Auto for Call of Duty 4. And ever since then, i just been hooked. I was, I was, I don't know. It was the adrenaline, the the you know the feeling I got from raping, you know the skills that I possessed. I felt that it was just so much fun, and ever since then I just couldn't stop. Yeah, be honest though. Did you? I mean, from the very beginning, were you this good? Because like when I first played Call of Duty Four, uh, like I played the campaign on veteran and did pretty decent in that. But as soon as I got a multiplayer, I was overran and would go like two and thirty. Was you always this good, or did it take time to? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I was never this good at all. Um, honestly, it took a lot of time. Call of Duty 4 is really one of the hardest ones to me, actually. That and Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops, I just fly by. But um, I was never really that good at Call of Duty 4 when I first started out. And for the campaign, I don't even think I... I think I played about... Mm, oh, yeah, I did finish it. I did finish it. But I, at one point, I just was like, I gave up on the campaign because it was just too hard for me. And I was like, you know what? I want to play multiplayer. But it was never this easy as it is now. Yeah. Um, what is your uh, view on the girls in the gaming community? I mean, uh, you, well, there's not many of them on YouTube. You know, we got Optic Midnight. We've got you and stuff like that. Do you play with a lot of other, uh, you know, girls when you play Call of Duty? I mean, you get like a full party of six of just females and just go in there and just, you know, put it to them. <laughs> I wish actually um, I don't play with Optic Midnight because she's on Xbox and when I did have Xbox I never added her um, uh, I play with other girls like you know Fluff Monkey I've played with a girl Crunk Girl I've played with you know people who are not famous you know I have people who are famous in my friends list but they're not girls they're not girls I don't know whether they're offended by me or if they're anything I don't know about that but I just really don't play with them I'm more so like to get in games with guys I don't know why that is I love to get in a party of six with just my male friends and rape because a lot of the girl gamers they don't play as much as I do and yeah. I don't know why maybe I'm just a tomboy I don't know what it is about me but I just really love it a lot of my friends play Assassin's Creed and um other games like um I have a friend that's playing Infamous 2 back to back and you know none of them plays Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2 as much as I do so I more so get in the party of six with a whole bunch of guys and rape and I be on top as usual <laughs> yeah I've got a couple you know females on my friends list but I gotta say uh, your skill pretty much, you know, puts them to shame. I mean, I got a cup. I don't want. I'm not gonna mention anybody's names and you know hurt anybody's feelings. But you know, I think that's the you know how everybody views the girls in the gaming community as like the low ball players. You know, the people just yeah. that aren't very good. But you know, in this case right here, this is just proof in the pudding that you know girls in the gaming community are just if and even sometimes some cases better than the guys. Yeah, that's true. But uh, so, uh, what's your favorite Call of Duty so far? Oh, we my favorite Call of Duty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Black Ops, and mm, it's gonna be a tie between COD Four and Black Ops. I would only pick Black Ops because the kill streaks are a lot better than the the whole three, five, and seven that you have to get on Call of Duty Four. And of course, you don't have to worry about the lagging and the disconnection of the you know the the sessions that you're having. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Call of Duty Black Ops. 
-hmm. Yeah, I'd say, uh, and a lot of people may kind of look down on me, I think World at War was probably my favorite. I just think, you know, besides the MP40 Juggernaut, I think it was probably the most balanced Call of Duty to date. I mean, it's very similar to Call of Duty 4, but the maps, in my opinion, were just a lot better detailed and a lot bigger than Call of Duty 4, so I actually enjoyed World at War a lot better. See, I would be I would be able to judge that if I ever played it, but I've never played World at War. And when I first seen it, I thought it was too old, and it looks like the the Civil War almost. I was like, oh no, I don't want to play this. So I yeah. never played it before. But um, if I was to play it, then I might. I actually play. I think zombies on my sister's iPod. She had a World at War zombie thing or something like that. I didn't know zombies were on World at War. Yeah. But, I, but it was, and I played that, and I was like, well, damn. You know the zombies kind of look like Black Ops zombies, but I didn't I didn't think nothing of it after that. Yeah. So do you play? Do you ever play zombies, or are you just a multiplayer? I've played zombies with my friend, and um, I'm not gonna say anything, but uh, I was a little scared. I, you know, <laughs> I was screaming a lot. I don't like to people to leave me. I like to follow. So I, I a lot of my friends don't even want to play with me sometimes because. I follow them. I don't want to be left nowhere by myself. I, I don't funny. care. I don't care. You hear me all in the headset screaming, crying. <laughs> I'm saying I quit. I quit it. It's like it's hard after a while. I honestly like the first three, four rounds, I just be stunned, just running around, jumping on stuff, diving. But when I get to like round seven, round eight, and they all start coming at me, I rage quit. I start crying. <laughs> I throw grenades at my friends when they yell at me. I don't. I just do everything. <laughs> That's funny. My little boy, he's seven years old. He, I don't have my X forty ones anymore. But when I did have them, mm -hmm. I uh, he was playing zombies, you know, and had them on. And he can't, you know, he would look behind him real fast. I was like, boy, what are you doing? He's like, it sounds like they're coming behind me. And like he, <laughs> he was literally freaking out. It was pretty funny. Uh, but <laughs> what are your thoughts on Modern Warfare 3? What do you, you know, what are you expecting? What do you think they could improve on to improve the Call of Duty series? Or, I mean, what are your opinions on that? Well, from what I've heard, Modern Warfare 3 will be uh, similar to Modern Warfare 2. So I wouldn't say anything about the graphics because Modern Warfare 2 graphics are amazing. Yeah. Um, as for it being like Modern Warfare 2, honestly, I don't. I don't too much care for Modern Warfare 2. I honestly, I just, I, I wish they would took out, you know, new tubes. I don't like that. That's one thing I hate. I understand that a gun can have that, you know, that attachment, but that's one reason why I stopped playing Modern Warfare 2, because it was just constantly, constantly new tubes and people with grenade launchers doing some of the most weirdest stuff. And that's one thing I did not like. But as for everything else, the kill streaks I've seen, they're similar to Modern Warfare 2. If anything, I would ever ask for out of Modern Warfare 3 to get more people to probably pay more who don't have the right equipment is theater mode. That's probably yeah. one thing that I would ask, but I'm sure they're not going to put it because they try to make every Call of Duty, from just my opinion, different. So with this being said, Modern Warfare 2 didn't have theater mode, and they're trying to make it somewhat, like I said, similar to Modern Warfare 2. I don't believe that it'll have theater mode either. And I mean, that's just my opinion. But it, it, I mean, from what I've heard and what I've seen in the trailer, it looks like it'll be interesting. It looks like the campaign will be a lot of fun. I, I don't know about multiplayer, but the campaign looks like it'll be a lot of fun, as it as also the Modern Warfare 2 campaign was. But I'm I'm looking forward to it, and it comes out two days after my birthday, November 6th. So I'm even more excited to see what it's about. Nice. Maybe you'll get a birthday present, early birthday present or something. <laughs> I told my mom, and she was like, what is that? I'm like, just get it for me, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about the theater mode, though. I cannot see um, Activision doing away with that. In my opinion, that was one of the best things they've ever added to Call of Duty. Yeah. So I don't know if they would get rid of that. You know, I don't know anything at this point, but I, um, I definitely, the biggest thing I wish they would do is... And this is just me. I wish they would go back to the kill streaks of three, five, and seven, and just do away with all the huge kill streaks. Yeah. I wish it would take it back to you know, like El Presidor says, "Gun on gun." You know, that's how I'd like to play Call of Duty. You know, we've seen in the trailer they've got the AC-130 looking thing where they're shooting at the rooftops. You know what I mean? The black and white screen, mm -hmm. and you know, so that leads to me to believe that they're going to have other higher kill streaks similar to the AC-130, and that could have even been the AC-130. 
But I, I just wish they would downgrade it or, you know, take a step back to the good old days and have three, five, seven kill streaks and just be gun on gun. And that's all. Yeah, I seen that they had the AC-130 as a kill streak. It actually goes up to about kill streak 15. They took out the nukes. But um, I actually got this information from, I want to say, X Draws or, or probably Woody's Game Attack. But they had a video saying that the kill streak was going up to 15, which I think is going to be. It's going to be too too much, but hey, that's my opinion. Um, if they can get it, they can get it. I think 11, 11 even 12 would have been good enough, but 15, seriously. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I don't... it's fun using those higher kill streaks, and I can't complain when I get them, but I just wish, you know, there's too many. Like, if you went, like, back in the Call of Duty 4 days, I played Headquarters, like, religiously. That was the only thing I played <laughs> because that was the fastest game type in, you know, Call of Duty at that time. Right. World at War kept up that faster pace, but as soon as Modern Warfare 2 came out with the nukes, it, that instantly stopped. Everybody was so worried about getting the nuke. And stuff like that. And I really think these higher kill streaks have slowed the game pace down. I mean, everybody thinks that Ghost Pro is, you know, Ghost Pro annoys me, but I don't think that's what slowed down Black Ops. I think everybody's trying to get to those higher kill streaks so they're right. afraid to move. Right. That's so. true. I mean, that's what I've dealt I've dealt with a lot when it comes to um, people playing Black Ops with me. And even Modern Warfare 2, I've dealt with people who sit in corners with claymores. And, um, I mean, I, I honestly, I, that's not going to ever change with any Call of Duty because everyone wants to win. A lot of people, rarely, I mean, probably me, you want to, uh, people who actually take gaming seriously or take it somewhat serious, you know, worry about the objective. But a lot of people worry about their score and their KD. And that's when... That's when you come across people who want, who are just in it for the kill streaks. And well, I think three, five, and seven will be good, but it wouldn't be as much fun as calling out your dog. But that would be, that would be something that I think they would make a rendition to Call of Duty Four, where they have three, five, and seven. But as for a rendition to Modern Warfare Two, I think that the kill streaks that they have are similar, and that would be great. Although I just, you know, I don't. I honestly, I love the fact that you know the AC one thirty. It doesn't take. A uh, Stella, you know, Stella to shoot it down. It takes uh, you get like thirty seconds, I believe, with that. And I, I like that a lot better than Black Ops because, yeah. you know, it doesn't take that much to shoot down a helicopter in Black Ops. Honestly, it doesn't. So, yeah. I think that's why Modern Warfare Two is really liked upon when it comes to the kill streaks because they really last longer. Yeah. Well, this uh. You know, this video is coming to an end. Is there any last word you would like to say? I mean, it, why should people come check out your channel? I mean, it's obvious right here you're a beast, but give some people some incentives to come in and check out your channel. Well, I'm a wonderful girl who games. I have a positive attitude, and I plan to bring much more to my channel if you come aboard with me. I'm, I'm, I'm just honestly what you ask for, and then some. I don't just snipe. I don't just, you know, run and gun. I do just about anything, and I'm just that cool chick. So if you're interested in checking me out, please be sure to come by my channel. All right, everyone. AOSTES's link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, remember to rate and subscribe. Yodi, shout out. Bye, guys.